Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking radon gas systems. In the event that you're curious what an active system is, we're gonna talk about it in this video. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers downstairs in the basement going into the utility room. I've got my flashlight. This is where the furnace is, the water heater, the electrical panel. There's the water heater there. However, there is our sump pump chamber. You've got two pipes coming out. The smaller pipe to the right is the sump pump drain pipe. Some pump pushes that water all the way up and out of the house. However, take a look at that larger diameter pipe. That is our radon pipe, and it goes down inside our sump pump chamber. Now, prior to converting the passive system to an active system, the cap was a solid black cover, and you could not see down inside the chamber. However, with the new cap, it is clear, and you can see through and see everything down below in the chamber. You can see my sump pump. You can see the drain tiles that drain water into the sump pump area. You can see some water gathering at the bottom and as that water comes up, it raises that float. And when that float raises to a point, it triggers the sump pump to turn on and the sump pump pushes all the water up and out. And that's our check valve to not allow any water from that side of the pipe to come back and drain down below into the sump. And there is our radon pipe. It is a larger pipe and it comes up and then makes a bend and heads to the wall where it is secured by clamps. And as you can see here, we have a couple things. Number one, we have a gauge, but they put on a placard sticker, radon reduction system, do not tamper with or disconnect. And that is for your safety and also those that live with you in the house. However, let's take a look at this pressure gauge. You'll notice a difference in the blue fluid. It's lower on the right-hand side, higher on the left-hand side, and that is how it is supposed to be. That is a clear indication that your fan up in your attic is working properly and creating that suction, pulling radon gas from down below inside your chamber that is gathered underneath your house and up through all the plumbing and pushed out through your ceiling and out your roof. And we will show you that here shortly. And the annual price for this is $30, which is pretty inexpensive. Let's continue up. The pipe goes all the way up to the ceiling, makes a turn, and goes over to one of our beams. And from there, that is where it makes its 90 degree angle turn and heads directly straight up through the walls and all the way up into the attic and out of the roof. So what we'll do here shortly is we will continue our journey. However, before we leave this area, I do want you to listen and in the event that you have a passive system you will not hear any sounds coming from this pipe and there is just a tiny bit of vibration in the pipe and that is coming from your fan way up in the attic in addition again you've got that sound and the third thing is your gauge. If you don't have a gauge you don't have an active system and if you don't hear any sounds or feel any vibrations you definitely do not have an active system. So with that said, let's continue our journey and head upstairs. Upstairs now going inside our closet. There's an access point to our attic. However, we have blown in insulation and in the event that we remove that cap, guess what? A bunch of insulation is going to fall on our head and onto the floor. So we are not going to gain access to the attic through this point. I'll take you outside and climb the ladder into the upstairs loft of the garage and show you a better way for us to gain access to the fan. YouTubers, do your best to be extremely careful. As you can see here, we don't have a floor, so we are going to carefully maneuver along the wood beams to the fan way over there. As we continue to maneuver along the wood beams to the fan, there is a fan circuit. This electrical box was added by the technician when we converted our passive system to an active system and the radon reduction system do not tamper with or disconnect sticker is the same sticker as down below near our gauge on the pipe. And here's that blown in insulation I was mentioning. Take a look, here is our fan. And down below the plumbing that made that 90 degree angle turn way down in the basement comes straight up. And once it gets just shy of the fan, it makes a turn outward to allow the fan to properly rest in place. And above the fan, the plumbing is routed back to the wood, which is then secured by that little hook there. And the exhaust goes through the ceiling and out the roof. I'll show you that here shortly. However, a couple things about the fan. If you don't hear any sounds, your fan is not working. In our case, you can hear the fan working just fine. On the right-hand side, you'll notice two arrows. The top arrow is indicating the airflow, 
that the fan is pushing the air up and out of the exhaust. That is the proper direction. And below that is the rotation of the internal fan inside that case. And as you can see by the arrow, the fan actually spins counterclockwise. And additional stickers down below. And this entire system has to be airtight for proper code and safety. So the plumbing that goes in the top portion of the fan as well as the bottom portion of the fan is secured by rubber hoses and then clamped down tight to create that airtight seal. And there is our white electrical cord and it feeds all the way back down into that electrical box. So from here, what we'll do is head on outside and we will show you what the pipe looks like above. All right, YouTubers outside, and again, make sure you're on the same side of the house as you were down below in your basement where your sump pump and radon pipe come out of the ground, as well as the same side as you were up in your attic. And I'll scroll in, you see that white exhaust pipe to the right of that dish? That is your radon exhaust pipe. From here, YouTubers, do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be awesome and very helpful to us. Us. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you at the next videos.